Hey everyone, it's Misty. Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little early Christmas unboxing with you guys. So I got a little bit of Christmas money already, and I saw this, and I knew I wanted it. So it kind of has a little backstory. Well, I'll go ahead and unbox it, and then I'll share the backstory with you guys. So, what I'm going to be unboxing today is a bag from Coach. So, I haven't had a Coach bag in a long time. My last Coach bag I had, my husband bought it for me when my kids were super little. And it was a monogram, like the Coach monogram. Um, like the brown um, cloth monogram with like a white leather, like the top of it was white leather and then the bottom of it was the monogram and it was a pretty big bag. It was a, a shoulder bag, um, but it was super big. And I, I wore that bag out. I literally wore the bag to death. And um, my, my little boy actually like, not long after getting it, because he was a baby when I got it. Um, he, we were in the grocery store and he dropped, um, he reached out and grabbed something off the shelf at the grocery store. I think it was um, tomato sauce. And he literally dropped it and it got all over my purse. I was devastated. I mean, I hadn't had it that long. So I actually washed it. Like I put the purse in the washer because it was like ruined. And everything came out. It came out super, you know, everything was fine. I just like let, I don't, I'm sure that was not the right thing to do, but this again was like years and years and years ago. I didn't know any better. Um, I don't know how I would have gotten it out. Like if I hadn't have just, like I just didn't have a choice. So um, I washed it and it was fine. Um, I think it, you know, obviously made the leather kind of wear out a little bit faster, but you couldn't tell that anything had been wrong with it. And I wore that bag for years and years. It was like, you know, my diaper bag. It was my, you know, going out bag. I mean, I didn't change purses like I do now. Like I have a good collection of bags and I like to switch purses and rotate them pretty regularly. Um, I didn't do that back then. So I just had that one purse and I wore it for years and years. Um, but I love that bag. Coach makes really great bags, but so this bag um, actually came across my feed. It was like a bag review and it was actually on a different coach bag. Um, but I looked up the, that particular bag. Um, the bag was called the mini Bennett bag. And I looked it up and they don't, I don't, I can't find that bag anymore, but this came up on the coach outlet and I saw it and I really liked it. And it's very similar to the bag that I originally um, was looking at. And what I like about it is it's compared to the Speedy B, the 25, um, the Speedy 25 with the strap. So let's just open this up and see what we got here. Um, I saw where it's like packaged very well. So this is the bag, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. So this is their, I forget what the leather's called, but it's leather and everybody that has this bag um, or the Bennett bag says it's like a super, really great bag. So, The strap is already on here. So let's just start by taking off. So, like I said, I had been seeing, um, I saw a couple of reviews on that Bennett bag. So I couldn't find that one. So this was the one that came up on the coach website and the coach website, you know, I've seen that coach website a lot, but I honestly didn't know if it was like legit, you know, 
but my best friend actually ordered her and her daughter some bags off of there and I've heard of plenty of other people that have too so it's a legit coach site um, but it's just the outlet and that's actually where I got uh, my husband got my original coach purse that I was just talking about we got it at the outlet so um, but when she told me that it was like you know completely legit um, I saw this bag on there and like I said, I decided that I wanted an early Christmas gift. I'd gotten some Christmas money um, from my dad. So this is what I decided to get. Um, so it's got like the little pieces like all over the bag. So you just kind of like take off. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Hey guys, all right, sorry, it's me coming back at you. I didn't even mention the name of that bag. It's called the Rowan bag. That's the name of the bag that I'm unboxing, R-O-W-A-N. I will try to find the actual link to the bag that I purchased and I'll put it in the description box if it's still available. I think the bag came in a couple of other colors as well as the actual coach monogram. So if you like the monogram look, this bag did have um, that option as well. So, sorry about that. I was just so excited. I didn't even tell you guys the name of it. So, anyways, carry on with the video. Now, what I did like about this bag compared to the Bennett bag that, like I said, I couldn't find, um, this bag's a little bit bigger. So, I would say the Bennett bag is more comparable to the Speedy 20. Um, I guess that's a new bag that Louis Vuitton has out now. This bag is um, definitely more comparable in size to the to the 25. Um, and if you watch my last video where I uh, talked about my Palermo PM and I compared it to my classic Speedy, I kept saying that I wanted a Speedy B30, but I was wrong. I kept saying that, but what I meant was I actually, um, if I was to ever get another Speedy, um, it would be in, it would be a Speedy B, but I would not get a 30. I would get a 25 because while I think the classic size is better with the 30, I would much prefer um, a Speedy B to be a 25. So pretty much this size, but this is the bag it is absolutely gorgeous it really really is so let's open it up and see what it looks like inside of course they have it completely stuffed so let's take all this paper out so another thing i i don't really have a black handbag um i did have a bag uh that i like a little black bag that i had but i kind of wore it out um i wore it out so i haven't worn the leather kind of got um i think it got wet or something and so like the purse just looks kind of i don't know the leather just looks kind of weird so i usually don't wear you know i usually just rotate my um, Speedy or like my Palermo now. I have some Neverfulls. Um, I have my Dooney bag that my mom gave me. So I have quite a bit of bags that I rotate, but I, you can never have, I feel like you can always use a good black bag. So yeah, this is a really, really nice size bag. So, I'll show you guys. Really good size. So, I am five foot five. Um, if anybody is curious, so this is on, it's not on the longest, it's like on the third shortest. So, I could definitely even bring it down more if I needed to. So, if you were taller than, you know, if you're a little bit taller, I'm pretty average. Like I said, I'm five five. So if you're a little bit taller than me, you could definitely still wear, wear this bag um, crossbody. 
and I will definitely leave the strap on this bag for sure. Um, however, this would be an adorable bag, you know, if you were going somewhere and you wanted to carry it. And I feel like it's, you know, it's not too dressy, but it definitely is a little bit dressier. You can kind of see the feet. Um, let's see if I can get it to focus. I don't know how I made it focus yesterday. Like I said, I'm still learning my camera here. But anyways, so, and it's got this little zipper in the front. I don't know if my phone will fit in it because I'm using my phone, um, but that's okay if not. I don't, usually I'm like holding my phone or um, putting it in a pocket or whatever, but that's okay. But I really like that. Now the Bennett bag did not have the zipper and I almost originally liked the Bennett bag a little bit better, like the look of it. But the more and more I saw this bag, um, I really like it. Like I think it's really pretty. I think the zipper detail is really nice. Very smooth zipper. So yeah, it is beautiful. And this bag, I think I got it for like right at a hundred or a little bit under a hundred. Um, and I think it retails for 300 maybe on the regular. Let me see what this says. Yeah, um, comparable, okay, $328 is the actual price um, from Coach. see that and like I said I got it for like right at a hundred and they were running like a 15 I think it was like 120 or 130 but they were running like an additional sale so I got it for a hundred like a little bit over a hundred but yeah so I'm super excited I like I said I I have my wallet on chain that is black but it's super small and it's got like a silver hardware with the silver strap. So I think this is really pretty. And um, I think wearing this and seeing like how I like the size of it will really give me a good idea. Um, if I, you know, maybe eventually one day will we'll want a Speedy B. Um, or get that so but yeah this is gorgeous and this leather is super super pretty and coach is very well made so I really like this coach is probably my favorite um, like contemporary is that what they call it like a contemporary designer because it's not like luxury is coach luxury um, I like Michael Kors. I have a Michael Kors bag that my dad gave me. Um, I do like Michael Kors and I think their bags are super nice and like really nice and well made. Um, but Coach has really like, they have really put out some gorgeous bags. Like you can go on the Coach outlet and I can tell you like every single bag, just about every single bag that I see is stunning. Um, my friend that I was just telling you guys about that purchased her bag and her daughter's bag, both of their bags are gorgeous. And after seeing their bags and seeing the quality and everything, um, you know, I felt okay with, with, um, shopping on the outlet, but the outlet online is super legit. Um, you just have to be careful. Like you wouldn't, you know, I'm just really careful about where I shop. I'm not gonna, I didn't want to get like, you know, a fake coach outlet or something. I don't know. But like I said, my other bag was from the outlet that we actually went to because, you know, where I live, we have outlet stores um, in the town nearby and we have a huge coach outlet there. So anyways, and shipping, this got here, I think I ordered it like less than a week ago. I think I ordered it like four days ago. So it got here super quick and this is Sunday and they delivered it on a Sunday. So yeah. All right, you guys, I just wanted to share that with you and I'm so excited about it. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I will, like I said, I'll wear it and um, maybe after I've worn it a while, I will do a little review on it. 
and tell you guys what I think. But Merry Christmas, early Christmas to me. I love it. All right, guys, last clip here that I'm gonna leave with you. Um, this is the bag. I was just gonna show you guys like um, up close how it looks. Cause I know I was showing it in the video, but it's kind of hard to see. So I will probably not be carrying it um, like that, you know, handheld. Um, I will be keeping the strap on it for sure. So, but I wanted you to be able just to kind of see it up close see the details it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so so pretty i'm super happy with it all right you guys i just wanted to be able to show you a little bit closer i know that's helpful sometimes so anyways thank you guys for joining me i i actually just got home not too long ago from our family christmas party so this came earlier and i really wanted to i should have opened it and wore it tonight but that's okay. Um, I really wanted to do an unboxing with you guys, like a true unboxing. I, so I didn't touch it. I didn't mess with it because um, I wanted to do an unboxing on camera. I always love watching those. I think they're super fun. But um, yeah, so I'm excited to wear it now. I think it's absolutely stunning. And I'm excited to have a, a really nice like black bag. So Anyways, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I certainly appreciate it. And I've had quite a few new subscribers lately. So if you are new, thank you so much. And of course, to all my returning subscribers. Um, and if you are new here, I make videos all about the things that I love, like fragrance and beauty, obviously handbags, um, little health and fitness every now and then. And um, coming up, uh, hopefully, like coming up in the new year, when I get, you know, back to my house gets back in order from Christmas, I will do some um, like decorating videos or maybe like a few house tour videos and like show you guys some of the things that I have done since we've been in our new home. I think that would be super fun. And I always love watching videos like that. So if you guys have any ideas for me that you would like to see, um, any video, particular videos, then just let me know. I would love that. And I would take all suggestions. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I certainly hope you have a wonderful week this week as we get into almost, um, celebrating Christmas. So it's such a wonderful time. And if you are, um, experiencing any loss or hurt right now. I just pray that the peace of Jesus Christ just come over you and, you know, touch you in a way that is the only way that he can. Um, I particularly have family that um, has gone through a super big loss this year. Um, my cousin passed away back in August. It's been really hard. Um, this is the first Christmas without him. And so, you know, my family's hurting and that's really hard. So I just, you know, you have to find joy in the little things. And, you know, I've been through a lot in my life and um, personally with my health. So I just always try to choose joy and be joyful and to be thankful that I'm here. But it is really hard if you are struggling, whether it be, you know, financial or your health or, um, the loss of a loved one. So with that being said, I just really hope that, um, you know, this season does find you with a little bit of peace and, um, you know, because I know it can be hard. So anyways, I just wanted to say that because we're always on here like, oh, you know, Merry Christmas and everything's great. But, you know, the reality is life is hard and it's not always great. So, um, I just wanted to say that and just wanted to thank you all for watching. So, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.